Hi, I'm Tom Bassett, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use is clone or is new formulas within a record triggered flow. So, firstly, let me start by explaining what these formulas do. So, you can see here that I'm within the flow builder, and within the toolbox, I've created two formulas. The first one is is clone. This is a very simple Boolean formula which will return true or false dependent on if the triggering record is a clone or not. In addition, within the toolbox, I have created another formula for is new. This formula works in a very similar fashion to is clone, but in this case will return true or false if the triggering record is new. My record triggered flow is set to run whenever an account is created or updated. And I've decided to use decision elements to tell the flow what to do if the record is a clone or if it's new. So reviewing the first decision element, this will assess whether the record is a clone or not. So using my is clone formula, this will assess whether this is true. If the record is in fact a clone, then the flow will automatically set the description to NB this is a cloned account. In this example, the flow will overwrite any existing description. If you wanted to retain the description, then you could use a formula within the flow to achieve this. Once the flow has assessed that condition and run the update, it will then assess whether the record is new. And if a pick list field on the record called active equals no. If this condition is met, the flow will then go on to update the account. So the active field equals yes. Let's jump into an account to see how this works in action. So let's jump to the sales app. Press on accounts. And then jump into United Oil and Gas Corp. From here, you can see that this account has active set as no. And the description is currently set to world's third largest oil and gas company. Before this video, I created a custom clone button for the account object. For more details on this, see the Salesforce help article here. So I'm going to clone this account, which should in turn trigger both conditions of my flow, because it's going to create a new account where it's a clone and also a new account where is active equals no. So I'm going to press clone and then save. And in the background, my flow has now run. So you can see the active is now set to yes, because I've created a new account where active was no. And also the description has been set to, to this is a cloned account. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and add any feedback in the comments. Thanks.